Maybe I just didn't understand exactly what you said you were doing. So you have sticks? Yes. And st sticks on sticks. On sticks. On yes. sticks. This one here, the other end is down there. Right. Which will let me get the first wire from the outlet up to this point mm -hmm. where it will join the second wire that is going to be connecting the light switches together. That stick terminates up in the hole there and then I can pull them both in one motion and they will both run across and down. Okay, so there are two wires. Correct. That was the part that I wasn't 100% Yes, there's one that there connects the wires. light switch box to the other light switch box and then one that connects the other outlet to the outlet. And I gotta cut them both out of the ceiling because these are the spools we're gonna use. Dance, Maddie, dance. What you want? Yeah. This whole operation is so complicated that I can't think of it straight in my head, so I have drawn a silly diagram. So the wires we've run are these outlets, these lights, and these lights, and the feeder for all of that. Now, Steven is currently on a ladder disconnecting a string. <laughs> Ta-da! Tell me about this string. Well, there are two strings. Oh. Uh, this one here goes down to the outlet position. Okay. The other string up here uh -huh. goes to this lighting position. Okay. It'll be used for different things. Okay. Um, and now what are we working on? Probably. There are more wires in here. Label them so you don't forget. That's a smart idea. We have a stick in this wall coming out. We've also run a string with washers because that actually worked really well because my hand just barely fits in this tiny little hole. My hand doesn't fit at all, so I'm glad to there's, there's, there's a thing here. I'll, here, turn this light on. Uh, I can't do it. To the left. There. You see? So my hand just barely fits in between here. <laughs> it's tight. It's tight. So anyway, we get that string. Right, so now we need to transfer the contents of the stick to the string. And uh -huh. then we'll pull them and down then pull the them all down. And then you ready? we're going to run another string so that the next wires coming in here will also Because apparently there are more wires. Right, because we've got to bring power to this outlet and we also have to go from this light that isn't here yet down to the switch that isn't here yet. So. One wire at a time. It's actually two wires at a time. That's why I have juice pulls. Two wires at a time. Wires are... Oh! Why are you already here? By the way. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, you can transfer to this string. Oh. Can we pull out enough of it? Maybe more. Yeah. There you go. Good. There you go. That way you get enough to do your work. You're not like struggling. Wires labeled yet? Yes. Oh, there. Okay. It's underneath the tape. Uh -huh. That's very nice of you to consider my problems with not visualizing exactly where wires need to go for what. Well, I appreciate that. Having a secret code isn't really something that you want on a wiring project. No, that's also true. I am a fan of the fishy six. Are we missing one? One sitting over here. I want to make sure I have them all in the same fishy place. And all the fishy sits. And they glow in the dark too, which is super cool. Thank you. Alright, whenever you are ready. You want me to pull the string? You may. Give them a the string and hug. Are you ready? Okay. I need to go back to the other side. And feet.
I gotta, well, I can see the tape. Keep, I need like a little bit more to pull them through. Uh, how that should do. Okay. Well, we don't want to pull too much of the one that's out, because that one actually has to go to the lower position. Right, well I figured I'd pull a little bit out so that they didn't fall back into the wall. Right, I was right. thinking of using the washer on a rope again. Well, I didn't take a washer off, so. To do the next drop. Okay, these are coming apart? Yeah, you can take them apart now. Okay. The tape is done. Did you want to grab the tape on the outlet then? Yeah. So it's here. I just did my roll in your grill. Thanks, I appreciate it. Oh, they're labeled. What a nice guy. I see what you're talking about with your secret code, but that would not fly with me. No, I knew, I knew that it wouldn't, so I labeled them externally anyway. Thank you. Um, so yeah, this is the one that we need to then attach. Well, we need to get it down there first. Mm -hmm. So the camera lights don't overheat. It's very hot, but we have already fed that string through. It's very nice. Very nice. The people that last owned this place. Again, I'm trying to turn this light on one-handed. Ha! Let's see if you can see in here with me. Their insulation style they, is interesting. They insulated. So if you come on, focus, focus. That's all blown in insulation, and I wish it would focus on it. There it goes. Look at that pile like of insulation. Mouse. It is very weird. It's not doing anything. No, it's just kind of sitting there. Right. <laughs> so that was an interesting discovery, to say the least. <laughs> oh, remember I told you I have the exacto on my side? Yeah. I told you a while ago that I was like, I stole it just in case you're ever looking for it. I don't remember that, that was a little, I remember very clearly because you were like, okay. And somehow I knew that it didn't register, and I said, well, <laughs> remember this, Allie? <laughs> and look at this cat. He loves this spot, don't you? Yeah, you do. I don't know what we're going to do when we have to move that dress. That's what I said. I said it in a video, like, a couple days ago. I was like, I don't know what to do, because he loves it here. I'm going to have to figure something out for you, bud. Maybe we'll put something over here. Like in the corner. We could build like a little shelf that he could sit on. We'll figure it out, bud. We'll set you up nice. Look at the look I'm getting. He's like, I don't care. I'm gonna lay down and sleep. <laughs> Sounds like our dog. <coughs> and I did put him outside. Okay. Are you gonna be okay all by your long time? Yeah, I'm just taking this into the loop. Hook. Did you want to show the internet your hook? Uh, give me a second to finish this. All right, I'll leave the camera away with you. And over there, you can see the hook that we are trying to hit with the cable. That's connected to a stick, which goes down through the wall and out down there. So we're going to attempt to hook this loop here that I put in the cable onto that, so that we can yank it down the wall. And then that is the last of the outlet runs. That's not the last run, though. It's the last outlet run. Right, we have one switch to do. Right, we gotta get power from that switch up to a light that doesn't exist yet. And that's it. And then we're done fishing in this room. We're done fishing in this room. I like that you added that because we still have the office to do, Shh. and the second floor to do, and the first floor to do. We'll get there. One, one room at a time. Right. It has a hole. What happened? Wasn't it gonna go here? Uh, there's a board that runs across right about here. It's like one centimeter from the end of this. So I drilled until I didn't find it anymore. Mm -hmm. well, actually, I stuck my phone up through a hole in the ceiling and took pictures down of this. And then I had seen the board and had a rough idea of where to look and so just guessed and guessed correctly and we got this nice little plug out of this thing. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Where you can see the direction of the boards. Uh-huh. So. Chet! You're not supposed to be in here! How are you? Come on! Turn around! One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two!